All right, guys, uh, I got another video for you today on my Droid Razor HD, and this is going to be on how to install um, Twerp Recovery as your permanent recovery system. It's going to replace stock Android Recovery on your device. So let's get into some prerequisites on this. I'm going to show you guys what I'm actually running on this device. So let's go to, well, we'll go to settings, actually and about phone and as you guys can see right here it is 4.1.2 jelly bean it is the xt 926 which is the vanquish is actually the code name for this uh device like i said droid razor hd um so this is what you got here you're running on it i'm going to show you guys that you do have to have uh root access with super user or super sue that application right there which i do and you have to have an unlocked bootloader i have videos on both those things if you don't have them let me show you guys what an unlocked bootloader is in case you do not know um, we're just going to go over here and we're going to go to uh, reboot this is an application which i may do a review on here shortly and we're going to reboot into bootloader mode so this is bootloader mode and right here device is unlocked status code 3 that means you have an unlocked bootloader if you reboot into bootloader mode and you do not have it it says device is locked status code I think 0 then this will not work for you but if you have an unlocked bootloader like this again like I said I have a video on how to do that if you want to know how then I'm going to show you guys how to install um, your custom recovery on your phone all right, the last prerequisite you guys got to do before we flash this uh, file, and the reason we have to do this is if we don't do this, when you flash Twerp Recovery, it is not going to stick, and you'll, you'll when you reboot to recovery, you're still going to be in stock Android Recovery. So what we're going to do is you're going to go into a file explorer that has root access, like this one, ES File Explorer, and you have to give it root access by going into Settings, you haven't done this before right here and then click all these boxes it gives you root access on file explorer and then you're going to go back and it's right up here you're on slash is what you're at so you go to slash then you click on system and then you click on etc and then you scroll down scroll down scroll down scroll down until you hit this file right here it's called well let's actually look at it here we'll look at properties uh, right here it's called install slash recovery dot sh now the, what you gotta do is two things you can do one you can delete this file I don't recommend doing that but you can and it shouldn't hurt anything or the second thing you can do right here is like I did I renamed it dot bak for backup so to rename it you just hold down on it you hit rename and then you add that dot bak so originally it looks like this and you just type in dot b a k and hit ok and that is all you're doing that just keeps it from reinstalling stock android recovery when you after you when you do this flash process that i'm going to show you guys so those are all your prerequisites right there that's it all that to say let's go over here and let's check out my computer we're going to use some fast boot commands to do this i'm going to finish booting up here to go ahead and send twerp recovery to the device. So let's check that out. You also see this if you have an unlocked bootloader on boot up. Warning, bootloader unlocked. Makes it pretty simple. All right guys, so here's my computer here. I'm gonna show you, this is the file we're actually going to uh, flash through Fastboot to the device. Um, this thing is right here, it's called twerp. Uh, if my thing will go away. Twerp 2.5.0.0 dash recovery dash vanquish which like I said stands for the droid razor HD this is your fast boot file and this is a Windows uh, file ADB file um, so this is the file we're gonna do so I'm actually gonna copy this and we're gonna come over here and go out and if you guys have unlocked your bootloader which you have to to do this you're gonna have a file like this is called moto apocalypse and you're gonna have this this is what you use to run and unlock your bootloader so just take that downloaded recovery image of twerp and paste it in this folder because you already have your fast boot stuff right here um, which means that you are good to go with your ADB tools and your fast boot tools everything's in this folder so by pasting this in here it just gives you an easy way to flash it to the device 
So what you're going to do here, once you're in this window, you're in your Apocalypse, or Moto Apocalypse, and you've just copy-pasted your twerp recovery image into the folder, is you're going to go ahead and hit Shift on the keyboard and hold it down, and then right-click with your mouse, and I'll do it up higher here so you guys can see this. Right here it says, Open Command Window Here. So you're going to click on that. And now you have a fast boot or ADB command window running in this folder. Okay? So let's check out my phone and let's show you how to get this thing into fast boot mode. So let's look at that. So here's the phone right here. We want to put this thing in fast boot mode, which um, I'm going to show you guys how to do. And what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and power off the device. So power off. Obviously, you already have the Motorola drivers installed because you had to to unlock the bootloader. So you shouldn't have an issue with uh, doing any of that. That should already be done. Um, so that's a very good thing. Let's let this thing power off. And then what we're going to do is on the side of the device, there's your volume up and down and your power. You're going to actually hold the volume up and down and then hold the power. You're going to see your, uh, oh, there it goes. It goes right into boot mode. So then you're going to scroll down, down to AP Fast Boot, and you're going to push the volume up and it gets you into your fast boot mode which looks like this once you're here you're going to go ahead and connect your USB cable to your device like so you can hear it connecting to my computer and you should be connected then we're going to go back to our command prompt screen over here our windows screen so let's do that just go ahead and set this thing down like it is So. Now that we are on our command prop screen, you got your little cursor up here. First thing we're going to do is we're going to type in fast boot devices and hit enter. And it should come back with this little number right here. Dot 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 fast boot, which means that your um, fast boot is uh, working your device. That's your device number. It means your device is connected correctly. That's just a good test to do to make sure everything is connected correctly so that your next step is going to function for you. So next we're going to type in this command right here. I'm just going to paste it in there because it's easier for me. Um, and I'll explain what it is. We have, uh, let's, let's move this over so well, you can't see it. What this is is fast boot flash recovery and then the name of the recovery dot image. So that's the file that you put into that folder and that's all it is. Your command is fast boot flash recovery and name of what you're reflashing. So once you have that, you just go ahead and hit enter. And it's sending recovery, writing recovery, finishes. And then the last step here is to go ahead and hit reboot. Type in reboot. Or I should say, let me restart that. Fast boot reboot enter mm -hmm. and that will reboot your Razer HD so it's booting back up so that's the steps you got to take there and now we should be able to boot into um, mm -hmm. Torp recovery so let's go over and check the phone out and show you guys that at this point we're done on the computer so you can close the windows out you got here And we can unplug the device also. So we just rebooted from flashing Torp Recovery. Whenever you want to get into Torp Recovery, you can do it two ways. You can use an application like this that lets you reboot to recovery. And this is actually called Razor Tool. I think is what it's called. Let's see here. Let me find out what that's actually called. It's called, yeah, Razor Toolbox. This is a widget that comes with it. So you can reboot directly to recovery and this is the one way this is the way I like doing it just makes it easy you don't have to mess with it you're gonna get to your your little logo here and then you're gonna boot up into twerp recovery like so okay so the second way to do this is to power off so we're in a powered off state right here and we're gonna go ahead and hold down our both our volume buttons sorry about my hands there and our power button just hold them till we get to here. Scroll down once with the volume and then up once with the volume. 
and this should boot the recovery that we have installed. Normally it would boot stock recovery, but since we had torque recovery installed, it boots torque recovery. Those are your two ways to get into recovery. Um, you can also do a command from command from uh, command prompt and fast boot, I'm sure, to get into recovery, but these are the two easy ways to do it. So once we're here, we're in torque recovery. Awesome, awesome, cool stuff. First thing you want to do in torque recovery always is make a backup. So we're going to go ahead and go back up. We're going to back up everything right there. Looks good. Storage, we don't want to be internal storage. We want to go to SD card storage. Well, that's good. And then enable compress. I'm not worried about it. Now I'm not skipping MD5. So go ahead and do a backup. So now we have root, we have an unlocked bootloader, we have Twerp Recovery installed. We are running our first Nandroid backup, which will just save our butts and anything messes up when we're using this uh, utility. We can always restore this backup and you'll be back to working 100% on Jelly Bean 4.1.2. I'm going to let this thing run and then I'm going to show you the rest of it and we'll wrap this up. Alright, I just got to show you guys this is pretty cool. Um, on Twerp, you have a screensaver. So you have to turn off the screen and then you just go ahead and swipe across to unlock it again and let it finish the recovery process. I always thought that was neat. It's a new feature on some of the newer Twerp uh, versions out there. So pretty, pretty cool. Let's let this finish. All right. So our backup has completed. So you can reboot system right there. You can go back if you want and back again and go to any other settings you want to do. You know, wipe it, install a new ROM, whatever you want to do. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and reboot here and then reboot system and there you go you should boot back into your stock android system that you're running on there and that's it that is the full install on installing twerp recovery on the droid razor hd with the unlocked bootloader that's how you do it that's the files and the commands you need i'm going to go ahead and give you guys links to all that stuff in my video description down below everything you're going to need should be down there along with the link to the form uh, droid razor form where i've got the information from on how to do this so you can see step-by-step -step instructions there also um, that's it guys i hope you guys like this video i'm going to have much more on the razor hd as days go on here um, as always, please check out my webpage, Root, Junk Root Junkie, right here above my thumb. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and we'll catch you guys another time. Thanks for watching.